As the years roll past, all of us finding ourselves thinking more and more about life after death. What will heaven be like? Heaven? Heaven, some people say. I don't believe in heaven. The other day, somebody sent me something that made me think. It's just a little anecdote, and I don't know where it came from. But I did enjoy reading it, and I've been thinking about it ever since, just reminding myself how little we really know and how dependent we are upon the Bible's revelation of what happens when we cast off this mortal coil. So here we go. Twin babies, Peter and Paul, still in their mother's womb, struck up a conversation. Do you believe in life after delivery? asked Peter. Why, of course, said Paul. There has to be something after delivery. Maybe we are here to prepare ourselves for what will be later. Oh, nonsense, said Peter. There is no life after delivery. What kind of life would that be? Said Paul, oh, I don't know. But there will be more light than there is in here. Maybe we'll walk with our legs and eat with our mouths. Maybe we will have other senses that we can't understand now. Oh, that's absurd, said Peter. Walking is impossible and eating with our mouths ridiculous. With our mouths? All the nutrition we need comes through the umbilical cord. And the umbilical cord is very short. So life after delivery is to be logically excluded. Paul insisted. Well, I think there is something after delivery. And maybe it's different than it is here. Maybe we won't need our umbilical cord anymore. Peter would have none of it. Nonsense. And moreover, if there is life, then why has no one ever come back from there? Delivery is the end of life. And in the after delivery, there is nothing but darkness and silence and oblivion. It takes us nowhere. Well, I don't know, said Paul. Certainly we will meet Mother, and she will take care of us. Mother, replied Peter. You actually believe in Mother? That's laughable. If Mother exists, then where is she now? She's all around us, responded Paul. We're surrounded by her. We are of her. It's in her that we live. Without her, this world we live in would not and could not exist. Well, I don't see her, said Peter, so it's only logical that she doesn't exist. To which Paul replied, Sometimes, when you're silent and you focus and you really listen, you can perceive her presence and you can hear her loving voice singing and calling down from above. I, I'm actually looking forward to life after delivery. And thank you for tuning in to Village Church Connections.